Hi guys, second update of the day. Um, like I said, I, um, I'm on annual leave this week. I'm off work this week. And um, so I can just sort of chill out really and, and build this Titan. Um, and I just thought I'd show you pr progress really and what I do. Um, I don't know if you'll pick up any tips if you decide to build one yourself. And again, I mean, what I say is not necessarily right and you'll find your own way of doing things. But this is how I do it. And um, it works okay for me. So, um, what we've done so far is we have glued a magnet, 10 mil magnet, in the in the neck, as it were. Um, this is going to receive the head, obviously, but I'm not going to drill a hole. I've, I've marked this with with marker pen, and then put the head in a rough position where I think I'm going to want it, kind of looking down, and the black marks come off on the on the back of the t on the head. And I'm going to drill that hole, but I'm not going to drill it until it's all set up, actually, and and so I can get the the, the right angle of the head um, when he's when he's kind of full standing pose. Um, obviously, you can see that I've uh, been trying out some poses and things, and uh, the base is done. <laughs> well, done, he says. It's not really done. Um, so obviously I've cannibalized this bit of base and it's still got turf and stuff. I've, I've soaked it overnight in a very power spray and uh, this has all gone hard now. So I'm just going to spray straight over this and repaint it. So we've done our, done our um, little thing with our nut and washer and epoxied that. I've probably filled this with, probably put a layer of epoxy in there next time I mix some up just to get that completely secure, but this nut is, is epoxied in anyway. And then on top of that, you probably can see under there, there's another washer and a nut. And obviously you've got an 8mm piece of threaded rod coming through. We have drilled a hole straight up through his foot, a 9mm hole, to, to give an 8mm hole, sorry, 8mm rod, and that fits nicely there. So, I mean, a bit of pre-planning. So everything we do off this Titan now is governed by this foot in this rod. So what I think is he's going to be kind of facing this way. So this foot over here, his right foot, is going to have more kind of space to splay out all the toes. So I've got his foot here. And as the toes are really incidental to the build, and they'll just be super glued on because they're not structural, they're not holding anything up, and they'll kind of just come kind of over the side like he's kind of gripping the side of the hill as he's walking over it so we've um sort of blue tacked this is all glued now but this bit all over here is all blue tacked and we're kind of working our way up the leg so we glued in the the lower leg um and obviously drilled up the hole so that's a that's a good inch and a half there so that he's not he's not falling over this time <laughs> um so we've got our lower leg there then we've got our kind of um, knee section and our thigh section here. The piston in the back. Just um, if you've not built one before, just be mindful if you're going to set your leg at a kind of bent angle. Put the piston in as you as you put your thigh joint in. Otherwise, as you can see, you're not going to be. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be uh, tricky, if not impossible, to get that piston in. So make sure you glue it in as you do it. So that's basically. The, the, the leg done. Um, we have um, drilled out um, a hole in the top of the, the waist section as you, as you know and dropped three, glued three 20mm magnets together and it JB welded them in and we're just, I mean there's, there's bits of blue tack all over it and we're just um, experimenting with, with different poses he says. <laughs> so I mean like I say um, as long as you pre-plan it, everything is, is governed off this pin now. And I just sort of set it up as I go and, and build this build this up with blue tack and just kind of do a piece at a time and work my way across and down and have him posed in the way I want to pose him. So that's that. Also, I'll just show you what I've done quickly, just get these bits. This is the um, the, the bottom of the body section, just one 20 mm magnet in there which will, they all go together. I'm not going to put them close together because they're going to, the JB world is not dry. So that's that. And then, I'll just show you one of these. 
um, but we've got two. I've actually used 20 mil magnets on the top of this. This um, the diameter of this top section of his arm joint was was actually wider than I thought. So I've used the 20 mil magnet there. So so that's that, and I've obviously done another one. So that's that's finished. Just waiting for that to dry. And I'll just show you one of these in our section here. Like I said, I bored out this hole to, to accept this 15mm magnet. And this, this is actually deep enough. So it's flush. And it will accept two 15mm magnets. So we should have a nice strong pull for the weapons then. Um, so that's it for a minute. Um, I'm going to keep building up this leg. And I shall be back with you in a sec. Okay, and we're making some progress now. It's, uh, it's later in the evening. Um, just before I show you what I've done with the legs, um, the magnets situation. Um, it's, it's had a good eight hours actually. So I mean, I, I said in the previous video that I tend to leave JB well to go off overnight, which is which is true. <laughs> um, but just for illustration purposes, um, I mean, it does work. I've obviously tested this now, so it's a pretty nice pull on that. So that's the arm joint, I think. goes around this way so the arm's going to be sort of under slung at an angle that kind of thing I think I don't think it works the other way oh no it might be that way in fairness but either way this is this is this rotates 360 obviously because of the magnet so that's going to be good um, and the this weapon arm will um will get glued in I um, mean, whatever in whatever orientation um, it needs to get glued in. So that's that, um, and obviously they are completely interchangeable. So they they've been done. They're polarized the same way. So works a treat. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And then we've done the body. So we now got our large magnets in here, and one up there, and then. That obviously holds holds the legs on there pretty well. So that's that. So all our magnetization that we've done today works a treat. So right, what have we done now? So earlier on you saw we think we've done up to the thigh. So we've gone across and done the hips and the other side, hips and thigh. Um, just just another sort of tip: be mindful of when you're building these the the hip joints, the hip pistons, these. Um, these sort of connect so I'm gonna have a piston going from here to here and here to here and here to here and obviously the same on the other side so just something to be mindful of when you get the rotation on these um, these um, hip sections so that's that um, and you've got him set on the base and another tip when you're building these um, always handy to get spirit level and um, this one's magnetized funnily enough but just to when you're building it get it on top of the the model as you're building it and just to make sure as you can see it's, it's nicely level just to make sure that the the waist section is level because if that's level everything else above it is going to be level as well so it's just a just a quick tip there so that's it for tonight um, for the rest of the evening I'm going to build down the rest of this leg um, down to the sole of the foot probably and then start just sort of super gluing on bits I mean I'll do the the knee pistons and the hip joints and then put the toes on and that'll be the next video so um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys